And our top story tonight at 6. Talks of a possible abortion clinic come to make and have caused some controversy since word of the clinic back in May. 41 NBC's Tanya Motorzitski has more on why the clinic is being placed on hold. Sidewalks at the corner of Walnut and Spring Streets are empty and a lot quieter than it was in May with protests like these. We began staging a number of protests. The Macon Medical Center was the home of controversy. After word of the Summit Center, a clinic was coming here because one of the procedures the clinic does is abortions. The pro-life community had become very complacent because we had not had an abortion clinic in 30 years and so there were a lot of people who feel passionately that we shouldn't have an abortion clinic. Every Monday, members of the Colby Center and other anti-abortion supporters came to 833 Walnut Street to hold marches and pray that the Summit Center wouldn't move in. Anti-abortion supporters Dr. Richard and Suzanne Rowe purchased the building and the lease with the Summit Center was terminated due to the purchase. We want to let them know that make it is not going to be a friendly environment for them. Um, no, we can't go by every building that they think about going into, but we certainly can put pressure on them. The Rose are making the building available to the Colby Center. The center is looking for funds to renovate the old Macon Medical Center so they can move from Forsyth Street to Walnut. Reporting in Macon, Tanya Motorzitski, 41 NBC News. And there's no word yet if the Summit Center will find a new building to move into. 41 NBC reached out to the Summit Center, but they declined to comment.